All right, Pliskin here. I am shooting the Perfecta ammo out of my AR. Uh, but first, I'm going to run some Winchester uh, white box and a uh, American Eagle 556 through it, just to dirty the barrel. These are some spare rounds that I have left over that didn't get shot up the last few times I was out shooting. And I just happened to pawn five of them last night or the night before. Alright. And then I'll do the perfected test next. Okay. Them didn't group that bad. It is a hot day out today, so I'm going to get a lot of barrel mirage. All right, on to the Perfecta. Two five shot groups of the Perfecta. 50 grain, 223, 55 grain full metal jacket bullets. All right. Okay, my camera's still going. <clears throat> All right, that was the first group, five. Five more. Now I did it like this, just five individual instead of having a full ten rounds, so that way I could keep track of how many I had shot. All right.
sweet. Not bad. We'll have to measure that out. I just hope the wind didn't move my camera because there is a slight breeze. Alright folks, it's the next day. Uh, all the shooting uh, you seen me do yesterday was, of course, yesterday, as I said. Uh, we had company come over last night, and I wasn't able to get to the, you know, talking about the groups part of the video. And then I had to mow all day today, basically, and I'm just now getting time. I just had a big, big supper with my family. Had steak dinner. It was pretty good. Alright, so the Perfecta 55 grain full metal jacket 223. Uh, first, my first group was 3.50 MOA. This wasn't perfect. I'm just pointing it out. This was like five shots of uh, Winchester white box 556 and then one uh, Federal American Eagle uh, 223. And I, that came out to be 3.50. I did that to get the barrel dirty. My first group with Perfecta was here. This came out to be 1.80. It's holding here each time and it hit just low of the crosshairs. And then my second group here was five shots more. And you all see me film this one. I switched the camera over to this. And you all uh, saw me shoot this one and this one came out to be two MOA. So about roughly what the M1A would do with Perfecta 308 basically. Really no difference. Because I could get the M1A to group uh, perfect it into a one inch group uh, depending on how I was shooting and uh, it didn't open up as bad as the M1A but the uh, 2 MOA you know ball ammo you know this is just the 55 grain full metal jacket stuff this is basically a uh, perfect version of XM193 ball ammo uh, let me see let me get the bullets out here See, yep. Yep, 55 grain full metal jacket. It's basically M193 civilian interpretation made by Italy. Some decent stuff. Come on, camera focus. There you go. Alright, well, that's been my ammo test for this stuff. Um,. Now this may be just a one-off until I can get some more of this stuff. I'm not really sure. I've been sitting around thinking about it, and I'm not really sure I'm going to shoot all this Perfecta up because it may be a long time before I get any more. And I may just keep it back as rainy day ammo. Because this stuff, uh, I mean, like I said in the video I made before this one, um, I ain't seen Perfecta in a physical box on store shelves anywhere in almost two years. So it's really kind of a, it was kind of a bewildering thing to see a box, a bulk pack nonetheless of 223 Perfecta. The stuff I never got to try until yesterday, you know, on store shelves at a gun store. So I think I'll just uh, save the rest of these for rainy day ammo. And uh, this will be the test to go by for right now for my DPMS Oracle AR-15. It's a 1.80 inch group MOA and then a 2 point or a 2 inch group, not not 2 point. Not really bad uh, for ball ammo. I'll take that all day. That's basically what it was doing out of the 308. The 308 version was doing out of my M1A. Okay, um, well that covers my Perfecta ammo test. Tomorrow I am going out to my grandma's and I'm taking the AR-15 out there. I'll set it up here for you all to see. Uh, we're taking the AR-15 or IM and we're going to put up a trail cam out at my uh, grandma and gran grandpa's place back there behind the pond because the coyotes have gotten worse out there and I don't have much ammo for the M1A I mean I have one box of loaded and I need to reload some more 
So I'm taking this and I'm, I'll have some Perfecta ammo in it. But the coyotes have gotten real bad out there. And my, my grandpa said he was back there and he had two of them come at him. So I'll be loading up my AR-15 with some of this and, uh, you know, in case some, some of them come out to try and uh, get us while we're putting up the trail cam. Because we're going to put up a trail cam to see where they're coming in and out of in the hopes that we can uh, sit up back there and, you know, take care of them. So I'll have a video of the trail cam installation. And if I happen to see a coyote, I will dust it, shoot it, and uh, with the AR-15. And I will have a coyote down video. Because they've gotten real bad back there. So I'll take the AR-15 out because it's light. And, uh, I mean, I could take the M1A2, but I don't have much uh, ammo for it loaded or ready to go, or really, just 20 rounds. So I was thinking I'd take this, because it'd be lighter, and uh, shoots a 223 caliber bullet. I do want to tag a coyote with my M1A, though, someday. So, that's coming tomorrow. It's also supposed to come severe thunderstorms tomorrow evening. Or so they say. It's supposed to rain all day today and it didn't. So stay tuned for the next video. I hope you all enjoyed that ammo test with Perfecta. And I, w I know I was real interested in the results. The rest of this one here. This bullet here. That's a uh, 22 long rifle from my Marlin. Because I shot my Marlin quite a bit yesterday. I did take the scope off my Marlin. I was going to try and put my Simmons 3 to, 3 to 10 on it. But it was too big. The objective bell on the front was rubbing the barrel, so it couldn't go on. Well, anywho, stay tuned for tomorrow. Things might get action-packed. I'll have a video of events as they unfold tomorrow, whether I see a coyote or not. Well, anyway, this has been Pluskin by 51mm. See you all in the next video.